We are here from CBC's Business News Network, interviewing Mr. Dunstable Ramsey uh, about his successful Deptford Herald printing press. So, Mr. Ramsey, could you please give us a brief overview of your life that has led you to your success? I'm, uh, I'm 60 years old. I don't know how I can really give you a brief overview of that. Uh, uh. Well, I, I understand you fought in the war. I'm sure that was quite the experience. <laughs> uh, for me, not, not really. Uh, I didn't do anything, anything worth of saying I was brave. Uh, I hid in a hole for three years, got wet, and uh, wet and rainy. But I didn't do anything really significant as some people did in those days. Actually, uh, I remember my, my sergeant told me to climb over the trench and go take out a German machine gun nest up in, uh, up at Passchendaele and uh, climbed over the trench and walked three feet, put my face down in the mud. And the uh, five other guys who actually tried to take out the nest, they were all shot and killed within five minutes while I laid face down in the mud for six hours waiting for the battle to be over. Uh, wasn't much of an experience. Alright, well, how about after the war? What uh, turns did your life lead to? Well, nothing too significant. Uh, that's how I came into getting the printing press, of course. I came home, my parents had passed away from the, the Spanish flu and married my high school sweetheart. Leo was around here somewhere. Um, yeah, it's been, been easy sailing since then, pretty much. Ah, alright then. Well, Mr. Ramsey, one thing uh, your readers wanted to know, a lot of readers find that uh, your writing lacks religion, religious content. You seem to avoid it a lot. What would you have to say about that? <laughs> oh, I was, I was raised by, in a small town, by Scottish parents, so they raised me Presbyterian, basically killed the religion out of me. Uh, yeah, I remember a lot of guys in the war becoming fascinated with uh, with a fairy tale religion kind of thing uh, never really uh never really became a thing for me i just kind of uh stayed away from that i'm trying to write a a serious paper here so uh yeah i'm not i'm not gonna put religion in it all right well all right one more thing to final up as our for our interview could we could you just give us uh, an overall of who are the most influential people in your life that have led to your success? Oh, Leola. Leola, of course. Um, of course, uh, Charlie Chaplin. Alexander Keith. And Molson, Molson Canadian, definitely. Ah. I don't believe Molson Canadian is an actual person, Mr. Ramsey. No, no, I think he is. I see. Well, there you have it. From CBC's Business News Network. No. That is Mr. No. Austin Ramsey. Put my cat out! We will be with you Put next the cat week out. to introduce our next new business entrepreneur.